Hey, hello, how are you? Last time I built this and I showed you this application and the point of interest is this properties panel right over here. What was special about this? It was generated by JSON schema, right? So it has some JSON schema validation and uh, yeah, we can kind of edit different things over here. So we've got these interactive cards and this generated form, this generated form is allowing us to edit stuff. So these fields are required and it's built with Bootstrap. As much as you hate Bootstrap, maybe, it still looks way too pretty. So I built something similar, but it's in terminal. It's the same application uh it shows the same properties panel over here uh here and it uses the same validation techniques and in fact the same library json forms to edit the fields and the rendering of the form is done with ink library so i was able to bind JSON forms, JSON schema form uh, generating library. I hooked up inks, uh, React inks library into JSON forms and it generates me this, right? Let me feature the thing again. So let me point my cursor to the card. It's being highlighted with the animation, I switch to its properties. So now we see different set of fields of here. I can edit those. I see that there's a bunch of validation in this case here. I decided not to show an error message because uh, this thing is not required by the schema I modified for this showcase. So this is actually quite cool. Uh, Terminal-based app looks almost the same as the app in the browser. The interaction part kind of works the same. I mean, pressing enter over here and here changes the properties panels um, values. So let me show you a bunch of stuff. So. Just like previously, I am using JSON forms from JSON schema library. And I went ahead and pretty much copied vanilla renderers from JSON schema library into my application. What uh, is important to note, I ported only um, the text input thing into uh, whatever was available available with ink so for text input i reused somebody else's code um, from github so that and i slightly modified it to render to render the text uh, text component from uh, React Ink uh, library. So there's the React Ink, right? I showed that before. Uh, this thing, uh, so you install it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you are able to show some text, basic text, just like in HTML div right uh, in inside the terminal there's a bunch of companies use it of course which is quite important gatsby uh, cloudflare whatever so it has boxes which are basically divs and uh, yeah you substitute some fields and it just renders stuff as you want 
as for input control. Again, in vanilla renderers, once you've created a cell for text input component, uh, JSON forms exposes that using a dispatch cell. So this is again, this entire code is a copy paste of vanilla renderers of JSON forms. And I slightly modified whatever I had for my presentation in here for this field. So it's the same code and I didn't bother uh, deleting the messy code I had. I just I just inserted whatever was possible. So this in uh, Bootstrap's code was just, you know, label. And uh, I replaced label with this text and it just works. Compute label adds a asterisk symbol to whatever is required. And since this is not required, it doesn't have the asterisk. And the same is, well, everything else is, else is the same. I'm showing the JSON schema's uh, description for a field as a hint right below over here. So it's a card title. Let me actually go to my JSON schema. So a card title again is max length. So this is a JSON schema that could be reused on the back end for data validation. Um, so I'm using that on this front end type of thing. Uh, let me re add the schema uh, subtitle. Subtitle, yes. So let me write it, let me build it. All right, while it's being built, so this could be used on backend. Uh, I am using this on two front ends now, on in, inside the web browser, and now in uh, terminal app using ink uh, framework library. So now I have, I have added the subtit subtitle and my subtitle immediately contains some required properties. So this is, yeah, this. Ah, so cool stuff. And uh, this card, again, is a copy paste of whatever I had with Bootstrap over here, right? Let me maybe showcase that. Oh, I don't have it open, so let me open this interactive components. So my card component, again, is just like with Bootstrap in ordinary HTML, uh, rendered as this. So a box is like a div for ink. I want to show stuff in a vertical manner. There's some borders which are round. These are round. There's some padding color based on if I selected this or not. Uh, I chose blue because it kind of matches what I had here because it's selected. And there's some text for title, subtitle, a bit darker yellow color for subtitles, some white text, and links are in blue with underline. And the way you do that is just color blue and set it to be underline. All basic React stuff <clears throat> that you would use in a browser is available for terminal. And this is quite cool, right? Uh, what is... Uh, being edited right now. So yeah, so there's placeholders. So uh, this is now required. Uh, there could be more validation stuff in JSON schema, min length, max length. There could be some data, uh, data uh, stuff. Now, uh, what's important to note, I only ported, um, I only ported uh, input text. 
So input control with uh, with like a text input, you know. But technically, there could be more stuff added. I mean, there's more useful components that I might use for like drop downs and such. I guess they have drop downs, no? Yeah, well, they do have ink form. Will it work? Come on, load. Uh, I could use ink form to to uh, render the same thing. Come on, showcase, right? But this would mean that my UI would be bound to their implementation. But I want my implementation to be the same. So if I have a form that I want a user or administrator of some data to render, I want it to have the same UI schema, which is here. I want to have the same validation, which is JSON schema. And I want to be able to show uh, stuff in a similar manner. So data, safety, logic, reusability is 100% across several platforms now. So there's web in the browser. There's terminal application, which could grow potentially into something more serious. I, I reuse immediately the same data safety in schema, in the JSON schema for backend and frontend. And if I desired so, I would build, where's JSON forms? JSON forms IO. I would build a bit more complex UIs. So in this example here, they render stuff with custom schema. So uh, I could set up a few things with the controls I would define if I desired so. So in my in my renderers, CLI renderers, I could have more items uh, created for the terminal. But for now, I only have vertical, horizontal layouts created. So if I did provide a schema, I, I could have custom horizontal and vertical layouts defined, and I would show my text fields the way I want. But default rendering just based off JSON schema, it works perfectly fine for me. But I could create uh, something like vertical, horizontal layout, and a bunch of controls in a manner I want. And I could show a label where I want, just based off this configuration. And I would see the same configuration displayed in a browser and in terminal in the same manner, which is great. And if I was really into perverse things, I would create this thing to be to be more, I don't know, it's not reactive, so it doesn't uh, align on the screen good enough, but there's ways to calculate the width of a container and I could make this thing collapse, or this thing collapse, or whatever thing collapse and be responsive UI. But this is cool enough already, and I hope somebody builds more things with it, because, you know, I made this in like three hours when I copy-pasted vanilla renderers and I just aligned whatever I needed for the demonstration, which is just text field, a separate uh, label uh, thing, and a bunch of... Uh, basically out like uh, vertical or horizontal. Great stuff, great stuff. So React in terminal, yeah, let's go.